Another dinner date with Fawn, and she's back on the phone again. Always working, 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 working. This place is fancy. It's really fancy. So, me and Fawn are on a fancy date. We're not on a date. It's a fancy date. Very nice. And yes, she's still on the phone working. Always working. <laughs> School starts in how many days? In three days. Three days. You're a little bit busy? Super busy, not a bit. <laughs> she got the burger. The burger. <laughs> Look how gloomy it is. This sucks. Well, look at the wiring too. Oh my god. Uh, day number five of this glorious weather. 26 in Thailand. Tyler Ra. Ah. So, driving a motorcycle can be dangerous. Driving a motorcycle in the rain could be even more dangerous. Driving a motorcycle in the rain with no good eye protection could be even more dangerous. And driving a motorcycle in the rain without good eye protection in Thailand is probably one of the most dangerous modes of transportation in the world, if you know what I mean. Maybe the only thing even worse is doing that at night. So today I had to go and feed the cats and that is a long drive in the rain on a motorbike with a poncho on that half works because there's holes in it. So throw on swim trunks, plastic poncho from 7-Eleven and go feed the cats. And it got me to thinking, um, I've got a little bit of footage of motorcycle, uh, I'll throw that in, when it wasn't raining. The roads here do have uh, like little drain water runoffs on the side. They're not the best engineered type of runoff system because there's still standing water in spots. So I was like a nervous wreck riding down the road today. and. I was going I keep thinking about making this video. I wanted to talk about the roads here, um, especially the back roads, not the main roads, but the back roads. The buildings, if you notice and you see, the buildings are very close, built close to the road. There's not a lot of room from the road, like a front yard, usually. I mean, there's all the gates and all the buildings come in the cars and they park on the side of the road. And it's, so it's the road and not much area. So one of the biggest dangers here in this culture, and I don't know why they do this in this culture, in this culture, they pull out and then they look. They don't stop, look, and then pull out if the road is clear. They pull out and then they look as they're pulling out. It's one of those numbers. And then they stop if they have to. Kids will run out in the street, cats, dogs, people all on the cars and motorbikes will pull nose out, cars will nose out first and, and then stop or go. Motorcycles, they'll just pull, turn and go. Uh, and so that is probably the biggest danger I have ran into as far as driving a motorbike here. It's just the side roads and people just pulling out in front of you and, and, the, and the cats running out in front of you and and dogs just sitting in the street, which you've seen that, we all have seen that. So yeah, I was lucky enough to get a little bit of footage the other day while it wasn't raining of uh, a little motorbike ride on the main road here in Camelot because I had to go get gas and to do that, you have to go all the way down the main road, you have to do a U-turn and then you have to come back up the road to get to the side of the road where the gas station is. Hmm. 20 seconds in Thailand, Thailand Rob, I got another flat tire. So they're fixing it, I'm going to the big C grab a coca-cola and literally and literally again 15 minutes later back on the bike ready to go love the customer service here
ไม่ต้องมาหรือเปล่าโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้